Hi everyone! As you all know, several Mirror games have been released over these last few years and they have been very successful not just as traditional games but also as blockchain games as well. And today in this video, we are going to check out the latest Mirror game that was just released a few days ago. It is called Mirror 2M The Grand Master. It is a new play and earn idle MMORPG that is already on board the WeMix Play platform. If you are a fan of the Mirror IP, many things here would look familiar to you, especially in terms of the classes, the PvE and PvP aspects, and of course, the clan battles. As for the play and earn aspect, you guys can actually obtain an in-game item called Septaria. You guys can either use this item to upgrade your characters or refine them into QCB tokens. QCB tokens can then be exchanged for Remix or into other cryptocurrencies. But enough about that, I think it's time for us to check out the game. So let's log on to my account and I'll show you guys some of the things that I love about the game. So guys, now that we've logged into the game, you guys can see that my fire mage right now is grinding some field XP on its own. Here again, some mobs here in game. And it's actually very convenient guys because your character will still progress even if you're busy doing doing other things or even when you are offline. So as you guys can see, my character here right now is hitting some mobs and you guys can see that I actually have a lineup of four characters right now. Eventually, you guys can unlock five characters, but I'll show you guys my current lineup. Currently, I have unlocked four characters and my main character that I like to use right now is of course my fire mage. You guys know that I really love playing the magic class, so I have two mages. This first one is of course my fire mage. I also have my frost mage and I have a support taoist as my healer and of course warrior. These are classes that you must be very familiar with if you guys play mirror. But eventually guys, you will be able to unlock another class and it is called the shadow god of war class and gosh guys it looks really cool you guys can unlock this when you guys hit level 181 with five of your characters so that is gonna be one of our goals here in the game however it's still a huge stretch from where we are right now because currently my character level is 119 but eventually we shall get there and we can unlock that class right now i'm gonna show you guys how we can hunt for the world boss so all we have to do is to tap the boss button and then go to the world boss Currently, let's check out which bosses are available. And as you guys can see, there is quite a number of bosses that we can do per day. So as long as you guys have stamina for these bosses, you guys can get a reward. With our level 119, the highest level that we can do is the Rebel Demon King. So let's hit challenge. Hopefully, no one else is hitting the boss right now. So we're actually the first hit. So normally, if there's someone else that is competing against the boss, um, you guys can see it with at the lower left, there will be like a competitor that will be battling it out right now. But since we're the first hit, we have the possibility of getting all the rewards for this boss. But if you guys go against other players who was able to first hit the boss in advance, you guys can actually steal the reward from the competitor that you guys are competing against. But we're 25% into the Rebel Demon King and I think we're gonna get the reward. Last 5%. And it is a... Yes, it is a victory! We were able to get some Septeria fragments from that. And again, that is the currency that we can use to, of course, upgrade our characters and at the same time to use as we play and earn from the game. So guys, next to the world bosses, we also have the shadow field bosses. So there are also shadow field bosses here that gives better rewards such as legendary equipment. And the mechanics are quite similar to the world boss but here you guys can either assist your clan or assist as backup so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay here and be the first person to hit this boss so this shadow field boss will be our goal for this next turn so currently we were the first hit you guys can see that we are the owner at the left side of this shadow field boss we're going against the dark conjurer and hopefully no one goes against us here someone else is here we're gonna attack him we're in battle against him um he's trying to steal this boss from us so we're gonna try to deal some damage against him if in case we need some items we're gonna heal up but <laughs> we're defeating him so far oh 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 
oh, oh, okay, we're so good. We're so good, guys. We're so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We need items, guys, to heal up. Oh no. Can we survive this? We're down to our last two characters. I'm, I'm down to my last. Oh, I died. So guys, now that we were able to see the PvE aspects of the game, I think now it's time for us to do some PvP action. So earlier we saw that we really had to strengthen our characters to go against other players. So before we hop into the arena, what we're gonna do is to strengthen each of our characters. So in order to strengthen our characters, we actually need to forge their equipment and upgrade their items. You guys can see that our battle power really increased as we upgrade all of his ears. The next thing that we can actually do is, of course, for our characters as well, we can hop into some skills. Here we go. We actually get the books in order to learn these skills. Similar to the other mirror games, you need to have these books in order to upgrade the skills. So since our warrior still needs to be strengthened, we can actually use cultivation. This is something that you guys would be familiar with when you guys play other mirror games. You actually have cultivation to, of course, increase the other stats of your character so let's just hit that as long as you guys have this token you guys can use them to cultivate our character so currently the battle power has increased so we're just gonna hit that cultivation it's gonna be a success so to everyone here i know that right now it might feel a little overwhelming at first because you're trying to make sure that each of your characters progress what other things you guys can do so that you guys can raise your battle power but don't worry about it these are things that you guys can learn as you guys play here in the game and it's actually quite straightforward i think it's time for us to get back here into the town and head to the arena so what i've always loved about mir is that we get the chance to battle it out against other players to make sure that we have that exciting feeling of PvP. And right now, we're here in the arena. You guys can see that we have 10 entries for today. I haven't used my entries for today, so we can battle it out against other players. So we can match our opponents right now, and let's try to see. Oh no! This person is much, much higher compared to us. But hopefully, we are lucky, guys. So let's battle it out against Kyleen. And, woo, woo, woo. Okay, guys, this is an idle game. So hopefully, 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 we can cheer them on to winning. And... Yes, it is a victory. <laughs> but apart from the arena, guys, there's actually a few more things that you guys can do here in game. I have actually joined a clan here, but I have yet to experience these battles yet. But these are actually more intense compared to the arena battles. And as you know, guys, here in Mir, clan battles are really intense because of all the rewards. And I'm really excited to join in some clan battles. So this is actually a replay of how the Apex battle went out. So here's our clan and did they win or no they lost so as you guys can see the clan battles get very intense because of all these rewards so let's try to see how it worked out for our teammates did they win let's try to check out so we can actually see like a replay of what happened against their battle so next time we can actually register so guys i do hope you guys enjoyed checking out the gameplay with me i won't be able to feature everything here in this video but i know that you guys would have fun adventuring out into the game and i'm really happy to give you guys some ideas on what to expect here in here to m the grandmaster if you guys love playing this type of game and especially if you're like me who has a huge fan of the Mir IP, I highly suggest that you guys give Mir 2M a try. Also, if you're looking to earn while playing and enjoying the game, do check it out because there's a number of ways where you guys can earn Septaria sources here in game. Again, guys, Septaria is an item that you guys can use to refine into QCB tokens. You can bind your Play Wallet account here so that you guys can exchange it to WeMix and other cryptocurrencies. Well, that's gonna be it for now. In case you guys are interested in playing Mir 2 and the Grandmaster, you guys can play it on your phones by downloading the game over on App Store and of course on the Play Store. And you guys can also play it on your PC browser. Well guys, I do hope to see you all in game really soon and if we are in the same server, please don't PK me when we hunt for the world boss. <laughs> see you all in Mir2M, the Grand Master.